Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, today, uh, I'm doing part four of the uh, 1962 Gravely Li. And today we're going to work on the, um, the Magneto. Uh, the Magneto here houses uh, the points, the condenser, the coil. Um, I don't know, if you see my previous videos, um, when I took the uh, magneto off to clean off the points, this cover here is broken, I believe, in this corner here. And the screw is bent this way, I guess, so they can get the cover off. Because I'm assuming that the um, screw is seized into the magneto. I think, it, I think this is the side right here. I'm pretty sure. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to remove the um, I'm going to remove the magneto off the tractor. I'll do it step by step. I'll show you how I do it in case you missed the last videos that I did. Um, I'm going to try a new product today. I don't get paid for this, but a friend of mine is working on a, on a doom buggy. He's using a, an old Beetle. And he has plenty of rust to deal with on that. And he said it works pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you on this uh, nut and bolt here I have in the vise. <clears throat> what that's supposed to do is, it's ice cold. It's supposed to shrink when, when you spray it on onto the bolt here. It's supposed to shrink the bolt and the penetrating oil gets into the uh, nut here. It works the opposite way is if you heated it up with a torch. With a torch, you would want to expand the nut to get the bolt, you know, the nut off the bolt. With this, you're shrinking the, um, yeah, you're shrinking the bolt, and supposedly the stuff is supposed to seep down in there if it's really rusted up. And one thing I read on the can is whatever you do, don't get get that stuff on your fingers. It'll freeze your fingers. So we're going to go ahead and pull pull the magneto off. And I want to see if I can um, get that screw out with this uh, freeze out stuff. Um, I, might, I may have to take the points out. I don't have a little vice grip that was any good anymore anyway. I don't even know where it is if I even have one. So I'm going to have to try to get it out with either a big screwdriver. Because the head is still there. But the thing is... The uh, screw is bent, and I don't want to try to bend it back, because then you know what happens. It'll snap. So, I'm going to start pulling it off. Okay, so you're actually supposed to uh, take the head off, and you're supposed to bring the piston up to top, top, top dead center on compression stroke, you know, with the spark plug in. And what you're supposed to do is then, you know, remove the spark plug, take the head off, and the piston... You're supposed to turn the piston counterclockwise so it starts going back down three eighths of an inch. Um, I never, I never go through it, all that. I, I do it a different way because this is actually your timing. Let me use a screwdriver as a pointer. This is actually your timing mark right here. It's a straight up and down uh, mark slot here. And to the right of that, there's uh, two dots on here. So what I do is I br bring it up the compression stroke and bring the piston all the way up top to top dead center. And then there's a mark on here. And I line up the mark with the double dot here. So this way when you um, when you turn the uh, flywheel to the left and get it on the mark the piston will be three-eighths of an inch down of where the timing is supposed to be set
we get the piston all the way to the top dead center, you can still move the flywheel back and forth a little bit until the piston starts coming back down again. So I always try to find a sweet, sweet spot in between. And this works for me every time. So I'm going to take a look here and see if the timing... The timing seems to be off. It's off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to set the timing before I even take the uh, flywheel off. I mean the, the um, magneto off. Okay, so I was looking at it at a real bad angle. It, it's fine. The timing's like right on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, forward reverse lever. Uh, put it into low gear here. So it's not in the way. And what I use is uh, <clears throat> I use a shallow Craftsman ratchet. If you use like a bulky ratchet, I don't think you'll be able to get in there. And I use a shallow 916 socket quarter inch drive so what you're going to do is I had this off already the first time I had to use a wrench with a pipe to loosen these so this works really well for me that's the way I like to do it otherwise with a wrench it would be all day here I loosen them both up. Usually when you get these loose, they come right out with your fingers. Because I don't think water can really get in there to rust the bolts bad. That's one. It's only two bolts that hold it in. And I just use my two fingers, my thumb and my index finger, and just wheel them out. And then there's uh, this spacer here. It's like an insulator right here. And what I do is I put a mark. I mark it and put it back on this, it's the exact same way as I took it off. I don't think it matters, but I'm just fussy like that with stuff like this. So we just place this over here. And then we'll take our magneto, put it on the table. The last time I, I um, cleaned all the, the surfaces off, I sanded it all off with the die grinder. Okay, so this is what we have here. You can see that the uh, screw is bent out and the case is, uh, is, the cover is broke. It's cracked. So they can get the cover off. And also the uh, gasket's missing in there. Now, I looked up this um, cover on GT Gravely Parts. And this is the gasket here. So the cover, it comes with the gasket is 50 bucks so we're trying to save 50 bucks on this i have other magnetos off of other tractors that i just you know parted them out and um let's see what happens see if i can get this uh rusted bolt out nut out screw i can't even talk today just screw And then I'll spray some of that freeze off on there and see if, you know, I don't know. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was $8.50 with the tax. But I always give stuff a chance. I, try, I figured I'd try it.
if I could save this, I'll have to take one of these. Oh no, I have four screws for for the uh, other cover. <clears throat> There's another thing I noticed here. This is the shut off button here, <clears throat> and what happens is right in here where it makes the contact when you push the button is all corroded so what I did was I took the one off the other magneto like I said I don't even know if we're still using that magneto and this is all crudded up rusted up so I just took the whizzer very lightly and just whizzed it off so it makes contact and the button is still pretty tight on the br little bracket here so that should be all right. But I don't even know if we're gonna, gonna be using this magneto though. I don't know. I'm thinking to stick this thing in the vise. I don't know if we're, let's see what, what we can do here. So I'm gonna spray, spray some of this on here. And they say to let it set for about two or three minutes or so. like the idea of it getting into the let me get a rag and stick it in there I don't like the idea of that getting into the magneto I mean if it was regular PV blaster or WD then I don't mind but try to protect it somewhat I guess So what you want to do is you want to spray the screw. You want to shrink the screw and let that stuff run down in there. You can see that stuff doing something. It's incredible. Yeah, I can see rust bubbling out of there. It'd be nuts if this works. It'd be nuts. I can think of a million things you could use it on working on these old gravelies. Like the head bolts. I'm wondering if I could get like a big stubby screwdriver to try to get it out with that first. I'm not going to try to screw it out yet. I'm gonna let that stuff sit in there a while. Yeah, they really marred this up really. Oh, wait, what's it doing? Turn them? Nah, can't be. Nah. See if I can get the, the, um, maybe the <clears throat> vice grip in there and try to turn it with that. We're gonna wait a couple of minutes. I'm gonna give it one more shot and then I'll turn the camera off and we'll wait and see. I hope I don't damage anything inside this magneto here with this stuff. Alright, let's 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 give it a couple minutes and see if we can get that out. Okay, I had it soaking five minutes. I'll we'll pull this uh, rag out of here if I could. No, not really. Well, it's turning. I tried. I tried to take this out <clears throat> when I uh, cleaned the points, and it wouldn't move. So then I remembered my friend talking about this freeze-out stuff. It's moving. I can see this was stuck real bad. Because <clears throat> I couldn't get it out. I'm wondering if I should spray some more. I have a little patience. and Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll spray it some more. 
in the meantime, the uh, starter the guy gave me, the shaft is rusted to the bushing here. So, while we wait for the other thing to unseize, I'm going to try this on here. And we'll see what happens. I've been spraying this with a PB blaster, by the way, and it hasn't budged. Yeah, you can actually see this stuff working. I hope you can on camera. This stuff's pretty cool. I hope it don't damage the starter. I hope it doesn't go into the... Alright. Back to the project at hand. I hope you can see what's going on because I can't really get you at a better angle here. If I put the camera here and then the mount is uh, blocking the view. Yeah, it's going a little more. It's too bad they bent the, the screw. But they bent it to get the cover off. Let's see what they did. Let's see if we can use the vice grips this way maybe. I know what's going to happen if I try to straighten the screw out. It's going to snap. What about this big screwdriver? I'll use the pry bar end if I have to maybe get it to to do something maybe. No. If I notch, notch the screw out a little bit, maybe I can get the screwdriver to work in there. Yeah, grab it here maybe. Yeah, there it goes. Now now it's gonna hit the mount maybe. I hope not. Because if it does, then I'm gonna have to bend the screws or something. No, it's not. This is barely making it through, it looks like. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this the rest of the way out. It's out. Now the trick is, will the other screw be all right putting it in when we put the cover back on? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush this out real quick with some brake clean and blow it out real good. And We'll go, go ahead and try to uh, place the cover on there and tighten down the screws. First, I'm running the screw down there just for the heck of it, just to see how it feels. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I don't go too crazy with it, but so far it feels okay. Alright, let's put the cover on it and see what it looks like. That's good, I don't have to mess with the points or anything. Alright. So I took care of the points and everything, so I just plopped the cover on there, and I can't believe this. It came out. You can see all the rust. I saw the rust bubbling up, too. This is pretty cool.
I wish I had some anti-seize. I have none. It would be good to put on these screws. Oh, I can't put it together yet. I have to change this button out. The shuttle up button. I almost forgot. That means it will have to come off for the third time, the Magneto. Everything has to be done three and you have to take step off <clears throat> three and four times before you get something right on these tractors, it seems. Well, it doesn't seem, it is. It is true. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll do it off the camera because it's no big deal. It's uh, not too nuts. Okay, so this uh, cover only goes on one way. I addressed address this problem with the button here. I changed the button out, so we'll see if that works. We have a spring that over here, and that goes against the coil here. So if these uh, four screws tighten up, then problem solved. I think the cover gasket was only about five or six bucks. I mean, I could live with that if I had to buy one, but 50 bucks for the cover and the gasket? I mean, that's crazy. I can imagine how much the whole Magneto costs. GT Gravely doesn't, that I saw, doesn't list the um, price on the Magneto. You don't want to go too crazy with these because they're only small screws. That's what the problem is with these things. When they get when they get rusty like that, they usually just snap off when you go to take off the take out the screws. That tightened up nice. Well, I'll be using that uh, freeze off a lot. I like it. If it loosens up that starter shaft, it'd be great. I'm going to go give that a couple more sprays, too. And we'll go back over and put this, uh... We'll put this, uh, Magneto back on and we'll start it up and see if it starts. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm just going to place the magneto down here. And then this coupler I showed you here, right behind that. Well, this is a spacer, actually. Back right behind that is the coupler. So if you have to uh, adjust the timing, you would loosen. Uh, there's a half inch. You need a half inch socket to loosen this bolt. And then you can adjust the uh, timing if need, if need be. So... This is a little bit of a bad angle, but I should be able to get this back on. Where's that mark I made? It's right here. So I put the spacer in, then you want to stick the magneto back in its... Did I turn this thing? Is I turning it? I have the camera kind of in my way to do this, but 
I left. There it goes, right there. Now you catch your bolts on the bottom and ratchet them up. Now we'll see if it starts. I know the points are clean. I know we have a gasket in there now. I for forgot to unplug the uh, whizzer and I know the compressor is going to kick on any second. So I'm going to have to go shut that off. They're at it on Horror Highway. It's the worst highway. They had to close the highway the other day for about an hour and a half. I think it was a head-on collision up the road here. Okay, I'm going to finish putting this together. I'm going to leave the wheel off just in case. You know the just in case scenario here? Where, where we might have a problem. So I took a couple of minutes and I uh, cleaned the carburetor out again. Make sure that uh, there was rust in there and there was a little blockage. What I've been doing is just letting the gas stay in the uh, carburetor and let it, um, you know, accumulate all the rust and everything. And then I just take the bottom plug out and let it drain. And then I took the high, uh, high speed jet out, adjuster out, and the low speed one too. And I ran some stuff through there. Otherwise, it wasn't going to start. I just wanted to make sure the battery is strong. I, I hit the starter and it started up, but it shut right back off again because I had it on really low idle here. And as far as that freeze out stuff goes, it, wor it worked. I mean, I could see the rust bubbling out of there and everything. And with a little screw like that, it worked on that. So, oh, by the way, I want to let's go see if this uh, starter, if it did anything with the starter. I sprayed some on the shaft. Because it's stuck in the bushing there. I'm curious about that too. And then we'll start the tractor. And that'll be it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to have to try that freeze out stuff on something stronger. You know a rustier bolt or nut bolt whatever. I'm sure we'll uh, come up with something on this tractor. And um, alright let's go see how the starter did. Okay, let's see. Oh man, it's actually turning. Holy crap. It, oh, you gotta be kidding me. This stuff really works. I saw the rust bubbling out of this shaft too, out of the bushing, when I sprayed it in here. I don't even know if you can see it. When I sprayed the bushings right here, and this is the shaft. And I can see the rust bubbling up through here. And, and it's starting to move real easy, too. And I only hit this a couple of shots in between doing the, the other thing we were doing here with the Magneto. And that's amazing. I'm going to spray it some more and make sure it's really loose. And um, I want to test the starter on the next video if I think of it. We have more work to do on this, so there'll be another video coming up soon. All right, um, yeah, let's go start the tractor up. All right, I'll try it with no choke. See if it will start. Well, it will start, I know that. Oh, uh, I hope we're not losing the battery now. Like I said, this battery that I'm using is not too good. Try it on choke, maybe. I don't feel like rubbing that out. Maybe 
little slug in it now. Yeah, it's getting flooded. So the shut off works too on the magneto, so that's taken care of too. So all the magneto work is done for now. So on the next video, I want to see what's going on with the PTO here. Let's see. We might have to use that stuff on this too. So, all right. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.